For me, life is almost like a puzzle. When I first started, it was, they was giving me black pieces. And you get frustrated because you start working out the edges of the puzzle because when you put it together, you see these black pieces. You're like, what kind of puzzle is this? Why am I keep on getting black pieces? And you know what I mean? You get frustrated and be like, no, I'm through this puzzle gonna be whack. You get this feeling that, yo, God don't love me. God done, he done shift his, uh, his, his, his sights on me, all right? And it's not the case. Your life keep on and pieces start falling into place. You start realizing that the dark, at the beginning, the edges was only needed to accentuate the picture, the beautiful picture in the front. Everything happens for a reason. You know, regardless of how dark the pieces is, they're meant to fit there exactly how they're pulled to fit. Your life is being molded and shaped it for your service going forward. You heard? Um, and sometimes the, you gotta get real low to get real high. All right, my name is Karee Bacar. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I attend the Brooklyn meeting, and I'm also part of the Scarsdale meeting. I also attend the Scarsdale meeting, too. I came from a, a, a religious family. Actually, my grandfather was a Baptist minister, and my grandmother was heavily, a uh, heavy influence in the Pentecostal church in the community. So I was basically a church boy. <laughs> you know, he asked me, they like, I'm a church boy. Went to Sunday school and everything. You know, I was young, we was in a project, we was selling drugs, you know, it got into a turf war and we got into a shootout and an innocent bystander got shot. It was a school principal, Mr. Patrick Daly. And it was a tragic situation for his family, for the community, for my family, for everyone involved. I lost all my faith in God and through that process. Well, I was just turning 18 years old and the turn of events, it was like, if it was a God, what did I really do to deserve this? You know, like you keep on, you know, throwing me bad hands, bad hands after bad hands. So I went from a situation where I had lost all my faith. My first introduction with Quakerism actually came while I was working on a book. I was working on a book on the Civil War. I had ordered like maybe 15, 20 books to do the research on this. And I end up reading on the Quakers. Um, and I kept on seeing their name. I kept on seeing their name. When I went to Sing Sing in 2011, the, the prison is separated. So if you want to see a friend that's in A block and you in B block, I'd be like, yes, go to services. So when we went down to services, I didn't want to go to actually the, the Baptist church. It was too now. I said, so he said, oh, they have a Quaker downstairs. And when we went down to Quakers, I'm like, oh, I, I, I remember this. Like, okay. And then it was the, the silent worship. And I was like, oh yeah, I get this. When you actually go through the process of stealing your mind and you could actually feel the vibration going through you, especially in a group of setting, um, is, is special. And you, you come out of it feeling recharged. I don't think med when we meditate going to silent worship, we gonna come out with the answers right then and there but it gives us a little bit of charge or so eventually the answers and the solutions come around you know it's like charging up my battery pack you know you, it's a tv but you got to have it plugged in for it actually to work so um I'm, you know that's them that sound of worship is just staying plugged in coming here and being able to humble myself and slow down and listen you know what i mean it's still my mind you know it, 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 I think it's, it's sort of beneficial in the work that we're doing. We wrote a minute while we was locked up, the Sing Sing Workshop Group. We had six, I think, believe six points of what we could do to, you know, reduce violence in our community. So we already had like a blueprint from a think tank that we started in the Sing Sing Workshop Group of things that we could do. Um, it just so happened I was the first one to get out. When you first come home, you're thinking about getting a job. You're thinking about housing. You're thinking about getting yourself reestablished, the transition of getting reestablished. Right? And it was just fortunate that, you know, at the same time, you know, opportunity was open for me on the social front. Urban Alchemy was actually started. We was coming out, we was doing workshops. 
We did workshops on trauma, youth civic engagement, alchemy, turning bad situations into good situations. We purchased a, a, a cart, a icy cart, and we created a summer youth program. We was hiring kids. They was getting twenty dollars an hour to scoop ice cream and ices. We was getting job people jobs. I don't know. We got some people jobs in the community. I think it's creating opportunities. Creating when you create jobs, you create hope. So we have made we have made some significant inroads, significant inroads, and kept good on the the minute of the things that we could do to reduce violence from the community. Uh, I say we because it's not me by myself. You know, I work with Rose. I work with my nephew. I work with most of the Sing Sing worship group. And we just let the spirit guide us. You know, it, it, nothing we have done has really been planned. Everything has ensued from, I think, I believe, a desire just to do what's right. Restorative justice can be connected to spirituality. For me, uh, it is, you know, it is. That's my faith and practice, you hear me? The social gospel. You know what I mean? We sit back, we meditate, we get close to God, and then we go out and do God's work. <laughs> you know, it's funny because we I I'm not your traditional Quaker. No, I'm I'm not what people would say a Quaker look like. And I don't try to be. Thank you for watching this episode of Quaker Speak. If you like this episode, please leave a comment and a thumbs up so we can reach even more friends. For more videos, click this playlist here. To subscribe to Quaker Speak, click this here. And to support us, click here. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Thursday.